A lot of people like to say age is just a number, but I've never met anyone who lives that philosophy more fully than local legend Jeannie Blair. Hello! The founder and owner of New Orleans Glasswork and Printmaking Studio. I recognize you from videos, so I know what you look like. <laughs> She's an octogenarian with more energy than my kids. She dresses like a 21st century Annie Oakley. And fair warning, guys, she's as much of a chatty Kathy as I am. I told the gentleman at City Hall, I said, you know, as long as I can do pole dancing, the building's going to stay right where it is. That's right. In terms of her legendary qualities, I honestly don't know where to begin. If blowing glass isn't unique enough, she's a marathon runner, a World War II history enthusiast, an occasional pigeon trainer, and she's the oldest member of Team USA for sporting clays. Yes, you heard me correctly. Dying to shoot some clay birds with Jeannie, but for today's episode of Local Legends, I'm gonna try my hand at something I've always wanted to do. Something that always fascinated me, the art of blowing glass. It's like magic, you know? Yeah. Blowing glass requires a lot of specialized tools and a lot of knowledge. It isn't the kind of hobby you casually pick up like the time I tried playing golf. Wow. That's what I love about NOLA Glassworks. It makes this mysterious craft accessible to any curious average Joe with the free afternoon. That's me and you today, folks. Drooping, you're drooping. Hold on, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. So put your sunglasses on so we don't burn the old retinas. We're gonna spend the day with Jeannie and friends, and learn how to blow some glass, some science, some history, and finish a day with a cold drink. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Welcome to New Orleans Glassworks and Printmaking Studio. We've been here for 40 years. In wonderful New Orleans. New Orleans is beautiful today. Right. In the summer, <laughs> in the summer we have the melting season. Is it just so, brutally hot and humid? I mean, I can still run in the morning, but you have to get up at 4.30 versus 6.30. So you got it's, that swamp humidity. It's swamp humidity. You've said it. You can keep it. No. Done. Don't Let's back up. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I was going to say he's going to grab Show you. Me around town, yeah. have to warn you it is addictive this is a uh, different ar artists that have come into oh, wow, our huh? studio to do work through the last 40 years we work with a lot of doctors this is NYU Langoon Hospital the cardiologists had a convention here and they made their own hearts what's with the octopus I mean I guess that's okay up to the artist. this is a story about when you have a sudden awful attack something a car accident or you just saw someone fall off a cliff and you get that and like you just oh my gosh your heart takes on the shape on one side of it of the size of an octopus cage. And you go to the hospital with this heart attack, and they say, no, you have this problem. And oh, that's it's a whole why, syndrome. Yeah, it's the a broken whole, heart syndrome. Right. They Amazing. also came here and they were making musical instruments. Oh my God. They came during Jazz Fest. So it's fun to work with the artists that way. I can't stop but glancing at the trumpet there. And like, oh. all, I mean, just about everything here is super this captivating. This is incredible. But that just seems like it is, I mean, I've never blown glass in my life. That's it's something I've been wanting to do for decades. Five days Jeannie. to do that. Like, it just seems so difficult. Like, I don't understand. Like, well, we're going to start you I'm right at start the very beginning. Right? This is going to start you at the mouthpiece. By the time you're through, you've got the whole thing right. happening. No, it's to die for. Once you start, you can't stop. You're a hands-on person, you're food. Right. It's just like working with the food. It's where science meets art. Love that. And we're gonna show you all that in the back. I'm excited. Show you, yeah. Well, put me to work, let's do some okay, stuff. Okay, let's, let's have some good times. Oh, it's amazing. The other foot in the furnace. <laughs> um, real. Hey guys, so our genie, out front is your, that's your, your showroom. And this is our playroom. And this is your playroom. This is, this is where the magic happens. This place is a lot of things all in one. Not only do they offer glass blowing, but they also teach metal sculpture, screen printing, letter pressing, welding, stained glass, and then lin lino cut, lino cut, and lino cut printing. <laughs> I don't even know what half of those are, but boy do they sound awesome. And their artist in residency program supports artists who come from all over to teach and work at the studio. You're through blowing glass. I'm going to let you pull some prints. And pull some prints? Yeah. 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 Nice yeah. Thanks for chatting, yeah. man. Just look at all the students. This is the coolest thing. These kids are so great. Yeah. Kids this of is, all ages. They have to be nine for our insurance, so nine, oh, okay. nine to 19. This is a table when you're going to blow glass. You look at here. So you can say to your instructor, this is what I'd like to do. So, and because remember, you're a beginner. It's just sort of like. This is beginner? This is all beginner. This, this is entry is level. two hour class. Entry level. Two hours you're doing this. This is not all of this, but right, you right. pick and choose from here. Hey man, I'm Bradley Oni. What's up? I'm yeah. Jareth. Well, thanks for having me, bud. I don't really, I don't have a strong feeling on necessarily what I want to make it. I know we should chisel that creative out, yeah. but 
this is something I've been wanting to do for like decades. Like, yeah. I have, I'm very textile and I like the idea. It's just fascinating, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like playing with lava. So what's some of your favorite stuff entry level to make? Uh, making like a nice, like kind of floppy platter situation is always fun. I, I have like a, like shrines as I call them around the house. Yeah. Not really, it's not really that weird. Dried nuts or like yeah. fossilized stuff. I'm a collector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of tchotchke weird tchotchkes. stuff. Yeah, tchotchkes. you gotta have your tchotchke. God, I mean, you get it. Yeah. And uh, a tchotchke holder. Yeah, you got it. We can make a tchotchke holder. All right, sweet. And I love, yeah. for better or worse, I, um, I enjoy a little cocktail every now and then. Oh, you yeah. know, like, 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 sure. like the rest of the world. Could we make this like a cylinder? Is yeah. that relatively simple? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll for sure make something that holds liquid. All right, cool, yeah. cool. Where do we start? So first things first, we're going to pick some colors. So this stuff here is called Frit, F-R-I-T. It's essentially just crushed up glass that's been colored already. It's a very okay, complicated so a, treatment process to color glass. So correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to just wrap my head around it. So yeah. I'm, I'm guessing this isn't just any glass. It's kind of like, um, like a chemically a molecular type of glass. Is this like an engineered glass? Yes. Okay. Yeah, essentially. And then you add pigment to it, so you mm -hmm. now you have a palette yeah. of that glass mm -hmm. in different colors. Yeah, and different colors are treated with like different elements. So like blues are typically colored with like iron. Whoa. Greens are typically colored with copper. Magic. Ooh, Great. lilac red. Yeah, lilac red. One of my favorite flowers. Is the lilac? You ever smelled one? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do we start with this or is this no. additive? So this is additive. We'll okay. start by gathering some glass on a rod here. This is your vat. Yeah, this is our this is our vat. This is your exactly. lava vat. Exactly. If you want to pop on your sunglasses, I'll pop it open and show you what's oh, going wow. on. No doubt. My glasses. Oh, they're on my head. Oh, okay. All right. So <laughs> this guy is running 24/7. Really? Yeah. So on, on what fuel is it? Natural gas. Right. Yeah. So it holds about 300 pounds of liquid glass. Jesus. I'll just open it up all the way to kind of show you what's it's up. The sun in there. Yeah, yeah. It's heated to about 2,000 degrees. Sure. Right. All right. So now I can take these off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm, I've seen I I people think. blowing glass like on 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 the YouTube's and stuff, uh -huh. like, and they have those rods. What is this called? Is it this just is a, a pipe? pipe? <laughs> this is a pipe. This is Woo! the warmer. <laughs> it's stainless steel, stainless whoa, whoa, steel whoa. rod. It's hollow. So you can blow through here. This is not hot. This is not hot. Where it's that silver, it's safe to touch. Never touch up here, all right? Okay. In here, just yep. give it a nice light. You'll kinda, feel it. Yeah, yeah. Just don't commit to a grab up here, That looks right? hot. So the reason why we have to keep it hot, glass doesn't like to stick to cold metal. So you got to keep these guys oh, nice and warm. Oh, because it makes it set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it crusts and yeah, separates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll just fall right off, actually, no if kidding. it's too cold. Just yeah. won't bind. Just won't bind. But if it's hot, it tacks to it? Yeah, exactly. All right, yeah. all right. Whew. Yeah. I feel like I just got something like I'm nine years old and I just like jumped off the diving board for the yeah. first time. Yeah, let's just get the lava. So this is our nice COVID safe blowing system. Love We're it. one of, I think, two shops in the country that have this going on. No kidding. And it's con connected to an air compressor. So you're just going to tap on this foot pedal. You'll hear pneumatics, it. baby. Get our, we get our glass, heat it, season it, shall we say? Season it, yeah. And then we're manipulating with air. Yeah. Glass blow. Yeah. That's how you move the glass because mm -hmm. you're not touching that. Shit. No, you're not. I'm not. So we want to pick out our frit now. I want to keep it kind of. Kind of clean and classy. Kind of clean and classy. Can we go back to the table real Let's quick? Let's go back for to a little, the table. For a little yeah, for sure. Let's go. I'm feeling inspiration from like a pinkish. I want like a, almost like pinkish uh, sherbety sunsets. Okay, pinkish sherbety sunsets. Yeah. So let's let's go for it. Maybe some for of this. Here. So we're gonna put it here and kind of keep them separated. So a little more. A little bit more. Yeah. So we'll do two kind of loose wispy piles here. Okay, and you roll it in, I'm guessing? Yeah, perfect. That this should be enough. This is gonna be, be a fiery blend. Yeah. So I'm gonna open this up. Two. I'm gonna go in here, there's a sill right there, and I'm gonna lean on the sill, oh, and I'm wow. just turning. It's like getting honey on a honey stick. I'm just turning, turning, turning. I'm right behind you. I'm coming out. And that's your first layer of glass. And I want you to grab on with me. Keep your fingers nice and loose. You see how I'm going? And you're gonna roll, roll, roll. This is called marbling, what we're doing right now. This table is called a marver. And do you see how we're just kind of pulling that glass off the metal and into a nice little glob at the end? Pushing it. You're pull, yeah, you're pushing it off. Stretching it off the yeah. pipe. And you're slowly bringing your hand up to shape up into that whoa, nice kind of Okay, okay. Look at that. Yeah. Man, that's freaking beautiful in its own. Uh, this part here, the glass that's on the metal rod itself, is called your moil, which moil. means useless. Nonsense. Because <laughs> this is not going to be used in the piece. This is just there for support. This is what is gonna be your workable glass. So this is where we're gonna put on your color. You gather your glass, you let it cool down, and then you're gonna gather on top of that. Okay? Layering. Yeah, layering. 
So we're actually gonna get some heat and put on your color though. Okay, we're gonna so that's our, that's our honey pot. This, this is, is our, just furnace. Yeah, it's a reheat furnace. It's called a glory hole. That's the industry standard name. All right, roger that. All right, I want you to grab on. Yes, sir. And you're just gonna lightly, you can bring your hand back. All right. Avoid the heat as much as possible. Right. And you're just gonna turn that like you're toasting a marshmallow. Okay, am I looking for any type of indication? Just movement. As it gets hotter, it's gonna start moving around more and more. All right, so it will start to droop and want to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your goal, is to keep it as straight and on center as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. I say that word wrong every time, rotisserary. So again, we're just getting a little bit of heat so that the color will bond easier. So that should be good. So I want you to swing around, I want you to grab on. Yep. You're gonna keep it turning basically all the way. Yep. And we're gonna roll through that. Uh -huh. And you'll see it's picking up that color. Uh -huh. We're gonna lean uh -huh. up and you're gonna get the tip. Okay. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Get the tip. Press down, there you go. Oh, okay, yeah. I wanna feel the movement. Yeah. Let you, me grab the wheel. You got it. Right. So we're getting kind of cold, so we're going to lift it up and you're okay. gonna take it back to the glory hole. And you're looking for that tip drooping, right? Yeah, that oh, tip okay, drooping. Okay, it's moving now. Yeah, yeah, keep it turning. And you're gonna get your lilac now. Uh -huh. Kind of go at this angle, and roll, roll, roll. Nice, get the tip now. Whoop, straight up, nice. All right, take it back to the glory hole. I am so into this. Okay, cool. Oh, I love it. Look at yeah. that, huh? Creating now sunsets now, bud. Up. This is getting romantic. Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Okay. All right, so behind you, there's a bucket. In that bucket, there's a big wooden ladle. Yes, sir. Yep. It's called a block. You're going to keep your arm nice and loose, okay? okay. So I'm going to get some more glass, and when I do that, you're going to come up underneath, and you're just going to gently come up underneath and roll with me. This is going to shape up the glass, okay? So grab that block, Brian. Got it. Coming your way. Remember to keep your arm nice and loose. You're gonna come up underneath me gently. There you go. See how it's kind of just naturally shaping it up? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Nice. Ooh, this is an art too, just holding this thing. So right now what we're doing is we're just cooling the outside of the piece before the inside. Just gonna give us a nice stable shell. All okay. right, off. Look how smooth that is. Put that away. You're killing it. So when you roll it like that, it's centrifugal force, so it's going to whop over. You drive it. You just don't let it. You, you see what I mean? You're driving the car, so you're slowly rolling. You're it. in control you, of the yeah, movement. Yeah, you're in control of the movement. As it swaps over, that means you got to catch up with it. Right. But if you go too fast, it's going to whip. You're around okay. Around. Makes sense. Yeah. So you want to make sure the glass is nice and hot when you're blowing air Pliable. in Pliable. Yeah. All right. So now you're going to press down on that pedal. Okay. We're just And you're just going to hold it down. Ready? Yep. Now you're just going to do a couple quick taps. You see that bubble right there? Yeah. Keep tapping. Just gonna get a little bit more air in there. Oh wow. Perfect. Stop? Stop. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna get a little bit of heat for you. Yep. I'm gonna stretch it out and then you and I are gonna use this tool here. These are called jacks. They're kind jacks. of the Swiss Army knife of glass blowing. All right, you use it a lot. You use it a lot. And you're just gonna rub the blades on that hunk of wax right there. It's what is that wax? It's beeswax. Beeswax? Yeah. And that's just a little lubrication? Exactly, yeah. You're gonna come up on here. And so you're kinda of keeping these nice and closed because this is going to give us a pretty good cylinder shape. Yep. All right, now I want you to give us a couple taps of air. There you go. All right, and stop. And we want nice smooth motion. All right, nice. Looking good so far. All right, off. Great job. I'm gonna get some heat. You're gonna grab that paddle right there. Okay. You're gonna come up on the bottom. Flatten? Yep. Oh, but I'm hot, man. I could do, can I get a different hat? Come up on the bottom. With you. Yep, with me. You can feel the heat coming off that. For sure. Isn't that wild? You see how solid glass gets Quick. very quickly. Uh, it takes how a, hot is it when it comes out? So this is probably about anywhere from like 900 to 1100 degrees and right now. And it's doing nothing but dropping temperature yeah. as we speak. Yeah. Little, yeah. We're gonna put a little dent in there. That's gonna little, help us out later. A little dimple? A little dimple. And we're gonna start cutting in a jack line. Jack right? line? Yeah, so you're gonna go nice and easy, all right? You're not squeezing very hard. I'm not squeezing at all. So squeeze a little bit, just not very hard. So that was wax burning off that yep. you just saw. So we're not making, we're just making a indentation writ line. Yeah, exactly. This is gonna be our break off line. Oh, okay. All we're right. giving it a, uh, a place where it'll wanna break. I'm just gonna cinch it up a yeah, tiny bit more. Yeah, gotta fix that right up. No, we're basically there though. I'm just- You're a very sure. nice man. <laughs> So now we're gonna move on to a punty. So this is gonna be the harder part a for punty? you. punty? So you're gonna be turning nice, full turns. You wanna keep it straight and on center, all right? And with your right hand, so you're gonna go in the bucket. Uh-huh. And you're gonna pinch. 
Uh-huh. Pinch that down. You're scooping up that water. Uh -huh. Keep it turning. Uh -huh. Don't let it droop. Uh -huh. And you're just bringing that water on that line. Okay. And you're going to keep oh, doing that. just dripping water on it. Exactly. Whoop. All right. So stop. Put the tweezers down. We're going to stop right here. Popping this on there. And now you're going to turn away from me. Now I'm going to lift this here. I'm going to bonk it. Just wow. breaks off. All right. So that's called a punty. Yeah, it is. Remember how you flatten the bottom? Yeah. Now you're going to do that on the lip. And then you're going to open this up and straighten it out more. Okay. Okay. It's the coolest thing I've ever made. I'm just kind of opening it up slowly. And so you are going to come up underneath where my jacks are, that angle. Uh -huh. And you're going to just go flat on the lip so we can get a nice... Like this or like that? Like flat. That. Yeah, yeah. So under the jack. Under the jack. So Tell me when. On. So just get a feel for it. See how I'm holding these and slowly opening them up? You want to take over? I think so. All right. Take this off then? Yep. And you're just using the pressure from the spring. Yeah. Where it seems so simple, but it's not. Honestly, I didn't do any research in the glass blowing or the steps. I kind of like to just go into it off the deep end for better or worse. But uh, I'm absolutely fascinated in the process and how much it just makes sense. Like, like don't overthink it. I, I mean, I don't want to, like, hold on. All right, so you're coming in, you're matching that angle, you're opening it up. Oop, there you go. You feel that? You see that? There you go. I'm gonna turn you loose a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Well, what do you think? Yeah, man, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Beautiful. For a beginner cup, I think you nailed it. Awesome. Boom. I like the little lip on it. Yeah. You're getting some nice sherberty sunsets. Oh, so if you do a punty right. Punty. All you'll need to break it off is a little tap. Oof. And so now you're just gonna torch that spot right there. All right, off. Cool. How do we prevent this from not chilling too quick? So we're going in the annealer here. Oh yeah, we are. So this guy here is a big old oven heated to about 920 degrees. Oh wow. And it'll come down gradually in temperature overnight. Okay, so this is your tempering down. Exactly, yeah. You've got to do that Whoa. to make the glass nice and stable. Sure, otherwise it will become brittle and break. Just shatter, yeah. It'll just shatter. Yeah. yeah. That, that was, was amazing. Got, and you're yeah. right, it was just a boop, boop. You just created a bunch of stress points, and so it's just an easy knockoff. So it's just like micro-fractured everywhere exactly, in there? Exactly, yep. And then, oh, cool. Yeah. That makes sense. Nice I noticed a lot of art, a few art galleries when I was walking. Oh, this is the arts district. This, oh, yeah. This is definitely the arts district. So, it seems like you're a little bit of the heart of it, huh? Well, we were the first ones really in this whole area. People look in and think we're just one of the ordinary galleries. Sure. But there's a lot more beyond the God, you're a museum, Jeannie. So important. It needs to be preserved. It yeah, is like preserved arts, as long as I'm here. Particularly our summer program where we have a lot of high school students and they have hands-on and things that they've never had a chance at before. And a lot of it's scholarship. We have 30 children every day from all over the city. Did you grow up in, in New Orleans? My family with New Orleans just really goes way back because both my mother's side of the family and my father's side of the family were involved with Jefferson signing the Louisiana Purchase. Oh wow, best purchase in American history. My family roots go back to New Orleans. Now we feel very much a part of it. So you grew up up north, I'm assuming? No, with Remington Arms in the old days, my father developed something called the Tracer Bullet during World War II. Well, yeah, I'm familiar. During that time, they transferred oh, you all over the world. Right. So I've lived, you name it. I've li okay, lived so you were moving. You know, it doesn't make you very shy. Had a few homes, that's you, for You've sure. had to be uh, outgoing and, you know, to make friends. Well, I'm getting that vibe from you already. Jeannie had me hooked right away. She talks a mile a minute. You guys know I tend to go off on a tangent now and then, but Jeannie's got me topped. Fortunately, her tangents were all freaking fascinating. I'm oh, wow. on Team USA for sporting clays. So Ooh, I'm, I love shooting clay no, birds. I'm the next oldest time, next video, woman, she's gonna outshoot me. All the All-American team, and in Europe, I'm the only one in my 80s. Come on, she's so, a legend in multiple well, categories. So you're a Remington gal. I don't have a Remington right now. I'm shooting a Browning over under. Oh, I was gonna say Beretta. Oh my God, I wanna shoot birds no, with clay birds with you so bad. Let's no, stick the glass, no, I got sidetracked. Yeah, one of our most successful things is our World War II exhibit of the carrier pigeons. Mm -hmm. so that's an original World World War II parachute. These pigeons each have discs on them and they're flying back with messages sure. to Great Britain. They had, the pigeons would come over from Great Britain, they drop them down out of a glider into yep. the fields of Normandy, the farmers would go out and then they would take the cartridges off the lake and they put a message into them, help, help, you know, we need our supplies here. No and there's a way. wonderful story about a pigeon called Cherami, she's very famous, she's flying over with the message on her leg, you would never send a pigeon by themselves, hopefully one of them would make, make it. it. Oh my so, God, the heroes well, that no one talks about. They shot her foot off. 
and then they shot her eye out. But the disc was on the other arm. Wow. She saved 200 troops. Come on, she got metal on her. So they sent her to Fort Mammoth, New Jersey. They made a wooden leg for her. Come on. And she lived out the rest of her life. <laughs> and, and she's now stuffed in the Smithsonian, and there's a book on her. No way. For real. So this is it. And they just sold a pigeon for a million dollars because Queen Elizabeth used to race pigeons with Mike Tyson. They're now smuggling drugs because no, radar can't get them. <laughs> they're now smuggling diamonds out of diamond mines. Come on. And they're taking uh, blood samples to the Swiss Alps. No way. So this is, this is that's why we have the pigeons flying across Wow, that's here. a good dark twist. Yeah. No, this pigeon? is, you know about eating pigeons because in Europe, the pigeons are big and fat, but I don't eat anything with a heart. Oh, <laughs> okay, no. fair enough. No, no, no I'm just own. saying that I don't shoot anything with a heart either. I You're learned more here. talking to you about World War II than I did in high school, Jeannie. We made our little cup to find help of our wonderful teacher. Now we want to make our little little, little tchotchke holder, yeah, a little, a little bowl. A little floppy bowl situation. Yeah, a little floppy bowl. All right, you ready? Yeah, you going Round in? Two? Yeah, I'm going in. We want to use a little bit more glass for the dish than we did our cup. Sure. Right? It's amazing how that molten glass disappears yeah. in the heat. Like yeah. it, it just becomes heat color. It's, yeah, it's all heat colored. <laughs> all right, grab on. Yep. Low, low, low. Turn, turn, turn. So drop it, lift it, flip it. Drop it. Good color combo. I'm going to grab this from you. You I'm can sit down on the bench. Take a bench, Leonie. I mean, my entry level obsession with just making this is like, yeah. I guess that's where it starts, right? That's where like, it starts. When we pulled it out of there, it was very much in a liquid state. But now if I give it a good thunk, it's already wow. completely solid. We got a good healthy layer of glass here. Come up underneath. All right, off. Get ready with that foot pedal. You're going to hold it down until I say stop, all right? Now? Yep. Oh, yeah, look and at that, huh? And stop. Wow. Tap in a little bit more. And that'll make it go towards the tip. Yeah. This is a nice high-tech tool we got going on. Which is just a clump of wet newspaper. Love that. Highly engineered. The air likes to follow the path of least resistance, right? Which is where the glass is the hottest. So we use wet newspaper to cool isolated areas of the glass, which will kind of control where our air is going in the piece. So we're going to hit the tip with that wet newspaper, which is going to make the air go out to the sides thin those out a little bit So harden us. the tip so the air doesn't move it? Exactly. Okay. All right, give me a little bit of air. Tap in some air as we're doing this. Light taps, all right? So you're making contact. I'm, I'm trying to get out of your way. And then we're gonna take that off. Okay, so squeeze, nice. All right, off. And, and you can feel the heat more because this is like way larger. If you go on there without my paddle, you it's can really get you. feel it, yeah. Because of the, vo the volume of glass? Yep. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's just do that. You don't want to foot? No, I don't. Okay, on. Perfect, and off. Nice. Now we're gonna move on to making a little foot, like a little pedestal for this to stand up on. From the same piece of glass? So I'm gonna drop another piece of glass. Okay. We're gonna and do some trading back and forth. If you fuse them together? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now I've got a good wad of glass here. You just keep doing what you're doing. And then over here, I'm going to drop this down slowly but surely. You know, you really got to feel out the temperature here. Wow. And now I'm going to kind of lift this up. Look at you go, buddy. Yes. Smack that down. All right. So now Transfer. we're going to pick this up real quick. Tell me if this is straight on center. Are we doing yeah, good? Yeah, looking pretty good. You can go over the camera a little bit. Yes. Oh, okay, that way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're looking good, bud. Okay, we're gonna just drop that down. All right, so now on. Make sure you're nice and straight. I think this is looking pretty good. What do you think? Nice job, chef. <laughs> wow, called chef by Brad, that's cool. All right, keep it straight, hit it with the water. Try to get just the line, okay? Yeah, yeah. See how you're drooping, you're drooping. Hold on, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Center it, you gotta keep it on center. Yeah, there you go. Don't panic if you start drooping. Just start hitting it with the water now, Brad. I'm scared. Don't be scared. Don't whip it. There's nothing to be scared of, Brad. It's just molten hot glass. Stop. Don't move. Nice break, chef. Thank you. Because Locked we're going to just it. flop it out, it doesn't need to be a perfect shape, right? Gotcha, now. gotcha. So we're a little funky, but that's OK. We are a little funky, bud. Yeah. Feel that? And open it up. There you go. Off. We're going to do that again. Shoot. That's a finished piece in my book. <laughs> if you want to put this away, we can no, put no, it away, you, but you get it floppy. It's going to flip it out. It's going to be it's going to get a little flashy out, here, Brad. But yeah. that's so nice. Yeah. He's heating up the very tip of it because right. he's going to have the square dance. He's going to fling the skirt around. Here goes, here goes, here goes, here goes. Right. Hello. Talk right. to me, talk to me, Goose. Oop. 
All right, so we're just gonna go on here. Mm -hmm. So now. You want me to open up the door? Dude, that looks like a finished piece. Brad, trust me. These guys are crazy. Brad, come over here. Yes, chef. All right, it's gonna get a little toasty. I got a heat shield here. There you go. I'm gonna slowly. So we're getting some heat, right? Yeah. I'm kind of flipping my hands about so I don't get too toasted. Gotcha. Getting some movement going. Yep. So now I'm spinning this out. Yep. And I'm gonna hang it down. Whoop. Let it collapse. And those little pull-ups are making it flop? Yeah. Whoa, I'm nice gonna serve oysters floppy. in that. Let's keep it kind of flat like that. Ooh, done, it's finished. All right, let's go pop it away then. Huh. Quick, 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 quick. Brad, I want you to grab the torch, quick. Roger. Right there, all right. Give it a bonk. Torch it, torch it, quick. Jeannie, can you hold this for me? Perfect, and off. Oh. Great job. Nice and warm. Thanks Jeannie. for heating these gloves, Jeannie. All right. Good, good, good. Close, close, close. Oh. Nice. Yeah, bud. Nice Yee! job. Woo. That, that was thing great. was pretty. Yeah, it was. Turned oh, out great. I can already see oysters, raw scallops on yeah, it. Exactly. Way go, bud. Yeah. yeah, gets a little toasty there at the You're end. You're all right, man. That thing was nice. Thanks. Every step, I'm like, it's done. It's done. No. If I was started getting into this, I would have 35,000 pieces yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I would yeah. need like a structure to keep stuff in. When can you touch that? Just needs to cool down gradually overnight. And is there, is there any more curing or? Cooling. Nope. Yeah. After it's done here, it's good to go. Yeah. Best teacher I ever had. Hey, thank you. Yeah, appreciate yeah, it, yeah, man. Yeah. I think we're gonna go roll around on the uh, on some of the printing machine Perfect, stuff over yeah. there. What an awesome place. It's an incredible yeah. space, right? Yeah. Lucky to be here. Yeah. Well, I was lucky yeah. to have. Oh, lucky to so hang out. Happy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm obsessed with like this whole, you know, just the art of it. It's amazing yeah, from the definitely. paper to the technique and the machines. Yeah, what is, is this etch, thing? This is our etching press right here. Okay. This, this is Boss right here. This yeah, is what a, as, what as a tool, as huh? Yeah, well, I'm gonna have you uh, have give it a spin here. Hoop drives Brad. the boat? Yeah, go ahead. Whoa, this is fun. No electric, nothing. You no know, nothing. I love that. We're talking original printing, right? Like yeah, early yeah, stuff yeah. here. 15th century? Yeah. Let's lift this up. Let's see. Oh yeah, huh? Monoprint etching. Yeah. This is so cool. Thank you again, man. We had a nice partnership on this journey down here in New Orleans with Topo Chico. They make a really nice uh, sparkling mineral water. We wanted to make a little little mocktail with you guys. This is a really cool syrup that is, is newly introduced to me. It's called Fashionola syrup. And it's just this wonderful floral bright uh, berry syrup. And that was the backbone for the original hurricane cocktail. But today I wanted to use it to do a couple drops together with some ice and some, some key limes. Fun, refreshing hydration. Beautiful. I'll top you guys right off. Right. Mm, hello. Well, guys, I've been nothing short of inspired by what you do here. It's just the art of it and the passion and just the characters, man. I mean, you guys are, it's some of the nicest people I've met in a while. A really special thing you got down here. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers, Thank you so much. Wherever Jeannie goes, she doesn't walk, she flies. Whether it's live birds, glass birds, clay birds, bird wings on her shoes. Seeing Jeannie in her 80s with all their energy left me kind of in awe. So I run every morning. Well, they say that's the key to, to a good older age is you gotta be active, yeah? Honestly, the minute I notice I am not doing, keeping up with a sort of a schedule of doing things, you start feeling yourself going backwards. No kidding. Oh. All I'm saying is if I make it to your age, I hope I have half the energy and enthusiasm that you do. It's muscle memory. If your brain says, yes, you can do it, yes, you can do it. Also, running many marathons, you get to the 17 mile point, you know you can get to the end. And anytime I do oh, something in so life horrible. now, damn, I just don't want to put that garbage out. Or, gee, why do I have to do the dishes tonight? That's your 17th mile. You know you can do it because you've done something like it before, but it's right. easier than finishing a marathon. It's easy to say, Eh, not this time, or I'll put it off until tomorrow. Don't right. put anything off. Man, Jeannie, I mean, just getting to hang out with you just for the day here. And I'll never forget you. I hope I can come down and visit again. And uh, just a beautiful person. And, and thank you for sharing a bit of your world and your craft and your passion. Here's what we love to do. We want you to be part of it. Yeah, well, you know, it's my first time down here in New Orleans. And uh, it's not everyone... going to be your last. No, no I reckon no. not. No. The world needs more of it, Jeannie. Thank you. We, we appreciate yeah. your being here. And appreciate your, you. Your thank you. Big time. One of the thank good you. ones. A real legend. Next time you're in New Orleans, be sure to swing through Noah Glassworks and say hi to Jeannie. Good chance she'll be flying around somewhere. This is turning out really nice. Yeah, it's lovely, right? You want to take the one for tomorrow for your event? You're welcome to it. I don't even think all my No, you're welcome to it. I'm not going to be using it. I got it just for you all. Yeah, you're welcome to it. I'll take it and put it in a bag and take it take it. We have my own bag. But I've got a you know, let's put it in the Walmart bag that I, you know, make it easier for you to carry so it doesn't fall out.